Hello everybody and welcome to another fantasy draft and this time I'm not sure how I'm actually going to do this. Maybe I'll just do 85 plus. That seems like a pretty solid discipline, right? You know, that's like a, a good marker to aim for. But anyway, we're doing the discipline draft. So I'm going to try to find players that have at least 85 discipline and then just build a team off of them and they shouldn't take a lot of penalties theoretically. So let's go ahead and randomize the team here. Um, I just noticed that my camera has like a face focusing. I didn't even know that existed. But anyways, we're going to get the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, nice. And let's continue. Did not mean to do that. Okay, anyways, uh, before I was rudely interrupted by myself, not being able to navigate menus. Let's continue. Owner mode, no. Fantasy draft, yes. Don't even think about it. Jabroni. Uh, I'll turn that off. CPUs can trade if they would like to. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say we get pick number 18. Yeah, there we go. Let's find out. That took a while because I was like almost spitting out numbers, but I waited. Oh, we get 11. I was actually, my first was going to be 12, which is pretty wild, but still would have been off by one. All right. Discipline. What's the best way to, uh, I guess, yeah, there you go. Oh, you can just do this. Okay, cool. Um... Not a lot of discipline going on here, guys. What is up with that? Okay, so we got 87 from Bergeron, 85 from Roman Yossi, 90 from Sasha Barkov. That is good. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take Barkov because he's on a good deal as well. So let's grab him as our first player. Don't mind if I do. Now our next pick, uh, Bergeron. We don't need another center, though. So let's go by discipline again here. We got... Did I see 95? Johnny Goudreau. This guy stays out of the box. All right, welcome to the team. Maybe I should aim for 90 plus. I mean, that might be kind of hard eventually, but maybe not. We could up our, our game though and go for 90 plus, but... Uh, oh, no, we can't because I already drafted someone who was... No, was Barkov 90 or 85? I can't remember. I'd have to go back and check. But anyway, I think we should stick to 85 because otherwise it's just going to get too difficult. Um, ooh, Kairu. Yes, sir. Welcome to the team. We have our first line... Done. Hopefully the chemistry fits there, but defensively, we're not so good. Tom Wilson's got to have good discipline, right? 100%. Oh, you're kidding me. What a joke. I think Ryan Ellis is going to be our first defenseman. He's got 85 there, and he's a, uh, he shoots right. So yeah, right-handed defensemen are harder to find. At least I believe so. So <laughs> I'm going to grab him now. Oh, goalies. Kind of forgot they existed. Yikes. Okay. We got Varlamov at 5 million. Sorokin at 4. Jack Campbell at 1.6. You know what? Jack Campbell normally sims real good, I find. At least for computer teams, which means he's going to be awful for me. But regardless, I'm going to take him just because I've seen him sim so well so many times. And now we can prove that that is only true when he's not on my team. 95 discipline for Brodeen and 90 for Fowler. Okay, so these guys are both on the board. Uh, maybe I'll go with Jonas Brodeen just because... Um, he has more discipline. He's at 95. So that's the sole reason. What about Manson? He's making a lot less. Oh, never mind. Brodeen, it is. That contract, it does hoit a little bit, but, you know, we'll uh, make some cap conscious picks later. What about Rust? Only making 3.5. 87 discipline. Brian Rust. There we have it. Connor Brown has 95 discipline. He could be a good second liner for us at 3.6. What's Burakovsky? Oh, Burakovsky's got 90. Hmm. He shoots left, and he is a left winger. He could play either side as well, but we already have a second line right winger, right? Yeah. So maybe I'll grab Burakovsky then to be our second line left wing. Yes, sir. And now we need a center. I don't know if that's going to be hard to find or not. Um. Okay, I need to... Uh, oh, Raquel. That is a hard deal to say no to at 2.4. But does he have the discipline? Yes, he does. Record Rackle, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the team. I really want to find a centerman here to be our second line guy. Uh, 80 discipline. 80 for Getzlav as well. And I don't want to take a huge contract on. 75 for Lawton. Okay, we got a couple players here. Carter and Howla. Um, Howla's at 85. So there we go. Eric Howla will be our second line centerman. I feel like we're actually in a decent spot for cap right now. Like, it could be worse for sure. Shattenkirk. Oh, Letty's on a good deal. 95 discipline too? Are you kidding me? Nicholas, Letty. Yeah, that is a deal and a half. If Shattenkirk is still there, I'll probably grab him next, but it's hard to say whether or not he will be. 
Yeah, he... Oh, no, he is still here. He had the... Yeah, 85, and he shoots right. So there we go. That is a thing of beauty right there. All the pieces are just falling together. You know what? $32 million of cap space left? I think we can eat up one contract here. This guy could actually be our second line center, perhaps. And then we could have Howell as our third line, so... Uh, 85 for Henrique. I will be taking on that rather expensive contract, but regardless... Let's sort by potential here to see if we can find any young guns that are, you know, maybe not the highest in overall, but like Robertson, he could be a fourth line center for us, maybe. 85 discipline. Nick Robertson, what about Wayne Train? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, Robertson, welcome to the team. Oh, Yarncrook with 88. He's a sniper, center slash left wing, but primarily a left winger. All right, yeah, we'll put a sniper on our third line, or maybe it'll be second line. It kind of all depends on... You know, the chemistry and everything. I just realized we don't have a backup goalie. Oopsies. And there's still some decent options here. Like Mike Smith. This guy's got abilities, no? He's got two abilities. And he's a medium elite. 2.2 milli. That's not bad at all. Alright, there you go. Do goalies have discipline? Am I, like, completely missing out here? No. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. But, uh, I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and grab Smithy Boy. Justin Braun, 90 discipline. He is a right-handed defender as well at 1.8 million. Yes. All right. Now we just need one more left-handed defender and we are uh, good to go. But on that note, I should probably try to find some more forwards here first. Well, actually, we only need a left winger and a right winger. So you know what? We are right down to the... Wow, we did real good for Cap. So let's like, let's see what some of these other guys are, are asking for here. And if they have... Oh, there's like not really any super good players left. What about Radulov? He has 80 discipline. Um, Hornqvist has 80 as well. Goligoski has 85, so we could pick him up to be another left-handed defender for the team. Hmm. Well, we got the cap space, so why not? So Donskoy has 90, and Smith has 85. So I'm thinking maybe we should go with Donskoy. Just because it is 90 discipline versus, you know, 85. And they're the same kind of player here, both two-way forwards. Both right wingers. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go with Don Schoolway. And for our last pick, strictly because we can afford him at 85 discipline, let's take Jeff Skinner. There you go. Welcome to the team, buddy. That will put us right about at our limit. And let's sim the entire draft. They're probably going to grab a bunch of young players for us now because we didn't necessarily draft young. <laughs> let's put it that way. So yeah, we got Zach Fucali, uh, Gabriel Carlson, I think, and then a bunch of other players. So okay, we should be good. I should just have our starting lineup ready to go. I think this team's going to be very solid. All right, so these are the recommended lines, and that's what I always run with because it seems to sim a lot better. Our coach style is uh, roll four lines as well, so these guys will see ice time. But uh, this is what we got. We got Goudreau, Barkov, and Kairou, Rust, Henrik, and Burakovsky, Yarncrook, Haula. Uh, Raquel, and then Donskoy, Robertson, Skinner. Let me just double check that everyone has at least 85 discipline on forward. So far, so good. Yep, looks like we are minty fresh. On defense, we got Brodin with Ellis, Shattenkirk with Goligoski, and then Letty and Braun. And let me double check discipline again. And yep, we are good. Nice. And then in net, we have Jack Campbell and Mike Smith. So Jack Campbell came back to TO, and uh, so did Robertson. I think those are the only two... Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I think our team's going to do good. I'm going to say we get 48 wins, make the playoffs, and then I'm going to say Barkov gets the most points with 85. You heard it here first, folks. Go ahead and make your prediction. See if you can get it right. Let's do the season simulation. Did I turn injuries off? I don't think I did. I got to do that real quick. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see. Is there a... Um, I want to go to uh, the stats. I want to check out the team stats and see if there's like a, a total penalty minutes thing. Or not. Um, power play percentage, PK percentage. No, there isn't. Okay. Well, I guess we could just kind of compare against other people in the league. But the, hopefully this team takes not a lot of penalties. That's what we're aiming for here, all right? That's our objective. We're going to be the cleanest team possible. So let's start the simulation once and for all now that injuries are turned off and some of the notifications have been turned off as well. Simulate up to this day. Let's go. Hot start. One and one. You love to see that. Let's keep it rolling here. 3-1-0. Very decent. Oh, yeah. 
team is nasty? No, I spoke too soon. On the contrary, we actually suck. 5-7-1. 5-8-1. Even better. That's okay. The beginning of the season is always kind of whack, and then you just start going on big streaks out of nowhere. So, yeah, if you start off the year like 9-0, and you're going to come crashing right back down to earth real quick. We just had an 8-0 victory and then a 7-2 victory. The boys are generating some offense here. Nice, okay. Let's try to get some more Ws here, please and thank you. I mean, we are getting to um, like a fairly decent part of the season here. And we're still not looking super great. Oh my word, do we actually suck? We might suck. Imagine I go look and we actually just have like a million penalties. Taking the most in the league. Wouldn't that be something? Alright, 24, 21, and 5. We might have to make some deadline moves, to be honest. We might have to do it. Because right now... Things are... Okay, maybe they heard me. <laughs> they heard my threats. And they decided, you know what? Maybe we should uh, pick it up here, fellas. Yeah, they, they definitely heard me. So maybe we won't make any trades. Oh, now you're going to go and lose, eh? I see how it is. All right, well, you know what? They they proved to me in that month that clearly we don't need any trades. But I'll have a look, see who's available. Um, Kadri, his discipline is probably about 10. Uh, OEL... Maybe. Brent Burns, Perron. Alright, there's really not a lot of, like, huge names on the block here. Like, we could try to get Maff, possibly. Like, how how is Jack Campbell doing? That's a question. Let's just check. But obviously, Kadri's gonna not have good discipline. Let's see. Um, 75. Yeah, that's honestly higher than I thought it was gonna be. So, let's exit that. We almost brought Kadri back home. We could try getting Maff and just see what we would have to give up for him. So... Here we go. Um, do you want any of our goalies? No, you don't. How is Campbell doing right now? He has a... Okay, he's doing all right. Mike Smith is doing okay. 9-11, 9-05. Mike Smith, what are you doing? Imagine we have Campbell as the backup. I'll give you a Fucali. And then... Wait, what is that a problem with? Toronto would be over the maximum salary cap. Oh, but like barely. All right. Well, let me do something about that. Um, if we're only getting a goalie... We have to give up a goalie, which means Mike Smith, you're gone, bud. It uh, it apparently works. So give them two goalies. Otherwise, I'll just get rid of Fukali if they're upset about it because it doesn't really matter to me. And a first. There you have it. You know, Fukali, you're gone. Mike Smith and a first. That's like I'm overpaying at that point, even though it doesn't really matter because, you know, we are doing a fantasy draft here regardless. Let me add a third, a fourth, and you know what? I will throw Zach Fucali in there as well. Uh, rookie goalies, Fucali. Wait, what? Now you don't want him? What the heck? Goalies. Apparently, they don't want him anymore, just like that. Well, let's propose the trade. Trade rejected. Not there whatsoever. All right, screw it. You're getting our first then. Watch them not want that anymore. Draft picks. First. Here you go. Smith in a first. Boom. No brainer. Eat my shorts. All right, well, we got math, so that should help the boys out a little bit. Let's actually go edit the lines. And, um, I, we don't even need to edit the lines. He's, he's already there. OEL is headed to Montreal with two-thirds in exchange for a first. And let me stop the simulation. Stop you right there. Okay. Wow, what the heck is going on with this team? Why is Goudreau leading? I mean, good for him, but it's not like he has a whole lot of points. We should be getting more production out of that first line. What can you do? Um, let's go to goalies. All right, so now we got, yeah, two very solid goaltenders there. All right, lads. I made an addition. Not one that involved discipline, but one that uh, should hopefully help the squad out here. And let's get to the end of the year and then go have a look at all of the individual and team stats. And we start off with an overtime win. That is good. Nice. All right. That was a back-to-back -back game. So Campbell's probably in for that 4-2 loss. You know what I'm saying? Never mind. Flurry's not pulling his weight either. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, why does the game do this? How is this even possible? We're on the longest losing skid- This game is an absolute joke. It is literally an absolute joke. It's not even funny. Look at this. Let me go back. Let me go back. We went on a tear. All right? We were ripping the league up here. Win, 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 win. And then post-trade deadline, I pick up a superstar 89 overall goaltender. And we lose, how many is that in a row? Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games in a row. 
This game is pathetic. So we finished fifth in the division with 86 points. Somehow that is possible. All right, but then that physicality I team built is the best team in the world, apparently. Something is very off with this simulation engine. Okay, well, let's see if the top 16 teams made it. Uh, yeah, they actually did. Very interesting. There you go. Check out some player stats, shall we? And then I'll just sim past the playoffs. We'll do the awards and whatnot. So, um, power play goals, 9, 10. Where do I see how many PIMs they had? Oh, it's actually way over here. All right, so we had 53 from Ellis, who has 85 discipline. Rust puts up 42 PIMs, 40. Like, let's go up one team and just compare. No difference. Not really, anyway. Uh, you know what? Ours tails off really quick. Like, it's top-heavy, and then it just, like, really drops off. Whereas theirs is more of a constant. But anyway, I just don't get how, how that just happened. Sorry by points. So, yeah, Gudra had 71. Barkov with 70. Kairu, 60. Uh, Raquel had 58. Rust with 56. And I'll just scroll down here show you everybody. Uh, goalies. Flurry had a 913, 279. Okay, he just sucked and went 28, 37, and 5 for whatever reason. But I mean, yeah, no, he probably came in with a bad record, but he did not help himself there at the end. Uh, Campbell finished 26, 22, and 4 with three shutouts, a 911, and 268. Okay, dokay. Let's go to the entire league. We've got Freddie Anderson, Mr. Anderson, with 922. 41 dubs on the year. He has the best save percentage and the most wins. So he's definitely picking up a trophy or two for that performance. All right. Let's have a look now at the defensemen. Carlson with 75. Riley 72. Hedman 71. And yeah, some pretty solid point production from defensemen this year. Okay. Forwards. What do we got here? McKinnon with 114. Matthews with 97. Nylander was playing with McKinnon, and he put up 96 with him. Kyle Connor with 94. Kucherov, 91. And then, uh, yeah, we got uh, quite a not really surprising top point production players this year list. That whole sentence was just an absolute disaster, but I committed to it. Okay, who is the other winger for these Capitals guys? They got to be up here somewhere. Who was it? No. All right, well, never mind then. Just sim past the playoffs and see who takes home the Stanley Cup. It's not going to be Toronto. That is for darn sure. But who will it be? That is the question. And it ends up being the Washington Capitals. Okay, there you have it. So they did end up pulling it off after having an Art Ross player on their squadron. So let's have a look at their team real quick. Go to um, Washington. There we go. I think I found something. How did I do that again? Hold on. Let me see if I remember. So I can go to the entire league, find Washington. And I think if I go to information, I can view their lines. There you go. So they had McKinnon, Nylander, and Gurionov. And then they had uh, Kachev. Uh, Jimmy Superstar and Hornquist, Tuck, Tyler Johnson. and Okay, so they have a good team. Defensively, Pelik, Strahlman, um, Bernard Docker and Shillington, Susie and Zaitsev. Quick and Samsonov. I don't know. I just don't know. Sure, there's your Stanley Cup winning team. Here's the President's Trophy winning team. They had Bailey, Nelson, and Debrinkat, Garland, Hughes, and Saad. Sanford, Peugeot, Connolly, Pujarvi, Thompson, and Vetrano. That fourth line is illegal. On defense, they had Lindholm and Boakvist. Dermot Miller, Stetcher, Zadorov, And then they had Freddie Anderson and Comrie and Nett. Okay. All right. So let's look at the awards, shall we? Stanley Cup. The Washington Capitals. And then Presidents. Yep. And then I guess Chicago played Washington in the finals there. Nate Mack with the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson gets the Norris. Nate Mack also gets the Lady Bing. Trevor Zegris with the Seattle Kraken takes home the Calder Memorial. Nate Mack with the Conn Smythe too. Vesna goes to Freddie. So does the William M. Jennings. We didn't go home empty-handed. Bill Masterton goes to Ryan Ellis, baby. 
Uh, Kelly gets the Jack Adams, O'Reilly with the Selkie, McKinnon with the Lindsay, and he also gets the Rocket Richard. He absolutely cleaned up. Here is the playoff tree. The last but not least for this one. If you have any other draft ideas, please comment them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though um, it was mostly just me saying this simulation engine is dog. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, there we go. The playoff tree for the discipline draft, which is discipline team lists. We are not a part of that. Well, there you go. Discipline apparently doesn't mean a whole lot. Because we still took penalties. I mean, again, we sort of showed that it did tail off faster. Like, we were top-heavy, and then it really started to diminish. But overall, meh.